Hi students, in this video, in intersection of solids, we are drawing a problem where a hexagonal prism is penetrated by a square prism. The question says that a hexagonal prism 40 mm side and 100 mm long is standing on its base on HP with a side of base parallel to VP. So first of all, I draw a hexagon with one side parallel to VP. A, B, C, D, E, F the points of the base, G, H, I, J, K, L the points of the top and its axis OP. This is its elevation A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, O dash, G dash, H dash, I dash, J dash, K dash, L dash, P dash. Plan and elevation of a hexagonal prism 40 mm side of base, 100 mm axis standing on its base on the ground with a side of base parallel to VP and this is its end view. To draw the end view, you need this width. You can either follow the procedure, either follow the procedure, or take this width and draw this elevation, find its center and draw a vertical line. A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, D double dash, E double dash, F double dash, O double dash, G double dash, H double dash, I double dash, J double dash, K double dash, L double dash, P double dash. Plan, elevation and the end view of a hexagonal prism resting on its base on the ground with a side of base parallel to VP. If you are following the procedure of drawing the end view, if you are following the procedure, you have to draw a vertical line. How do you draw this uh, end view? We have got a line here. It's an auxiliary XY line. Project this points. Draw arcs. And draw the elevation, uh, NV, draw the NV. We use double dash letters with a double dash to represent the NV. Now, this is penetrated by a horizontal square prism 32 mm side. Horizontal square prism 32 mm side with its axis parallel to both planes and all lateral faces equally inclined to HP. That means in the NV you will see a square. There is one more condition. The axis of the horizontal prism is nearer to VP nearer to VP than the vertical prism axis and the axis are 4 mm apart. The axis are 4 mm apart and the axis of the horizontal prism is nearer to VP. So you have to move it towards VP. That means the horizontal prism axis, square prism axis is nearer to VP. That means in the plan it will be nearer to XY line than the vertical prism axis. So the offset distance is in this direction and in the plan it is upwards. Okay. What is the size of the rectangle? This is 32 into root 2, the diagonal. 32 is a side, so 32 into root 2 is this. Complete the rectangle. NV is a square. Plan and elevation of the horizontal prism are identical. Rectangles. 30, 32 root 2. This distance is 32 into root. You can first of all draw the end view and then draw the elevation from that and draw the plan from that. You can project it down, draw horizontal lines. This is how you do it. You can come like this to draw the plan. Okay. Now, you have to mark the intersection points. The general method you know. What is the general method? Mark the points where the horizontal prism cut the vertical prism in the plan. The horizontal prism points where the horizontal prism cut the vertical prism in the plan. The horizontal prism points are 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash on one side, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the plan, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the plan. And the first horizontal edge is 1, 5. 1, 5, this is 1, 5, 1, 5. 1, 5 cut the vertical prism at P1, 2, 6 cut the vertical prism at P2, 3, 7 that is coinciding with 1, 5, it cut the vertical prism at P3 that means P1 and P3 coincide and 4, 8 cut the vertical prism at P4. Similar argument, using similar argument Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Agreed? Now you have to project them to the elevation. When you project P1 upwards, you get this is P1 dash and same is P2 
P3 dash because P1 and P3 coincide. Then you have to project P2. When you project P2 upwards, you get P2 dash. Where is P2? P2 is on 2, 6. So 2 dash, 6 dash will have P2 dash. Similarly, you have got P4 dash. Project P4 upwards, you get P4 dash. So this is P4 dash. This is P2 dash. By similar argument, you will have you will have Q1 dash, Q3 dash, Q2 dash, and then Q4. Now, those points are not sufficient. Why they are not sufficient? The vertical edge A double dash, G double dash, vertical edge A double dash, G double dash, and B double dash, J double dash. A double dash, G double dash, cut the horizontal prism at M double dash, N double dash. M double dash, N double dash, and D double dash, J double dash is cut by the horizontal prism at M1 double dash, N1 double dash, M1 double dash, N1 double dash. Okay, so M double dash, M1 double dash, N double dash, N1 double dash. Draw horizontal lines through those points at cut here. Where is M double dash, M double dash, so A double dash, G double dash. This is A double dash, A dash, G dash. So this is M dash, this is N dash, this is M1 dash, and this is N1 dash. Agreed? Now connect them. When you connect, so this is AG itself is M, N. DJ itself is M1, N1. So when you connect the intersection curve in the plan, the curve comes like this. This is the curve in the plan. So this will become dotted. This will become dotted. This will become dotted. It is invisible. It is inside the Vertical prism. This part, dotted part of the horizontal prism is inside the vertical prism, so it is invisible. Now, you have to connect M dash, P2 dash, P2 dash, N dash, dotted, 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 Similarly, M dash, P2 dash, N dash, M1 dash, Q2 dash, N1 dash. The remaining part will be dotted. The remaining part will be dotted. Therefore, this will become invisible. This will become invisible. This small part is invisible. This will This will be pushed out, so it will disappear. And this also will become in this, up to this. Up to Q2 dash will be visible. Up to P2 dash will be visible. And then it will be in this. This is a university question. This has come in different universities several times. Now, if you move this in this direction, if the horizontal prism axis is 
or if the vertical prism axis is nearer to VP, here the horizontal prism axis is nearer to VP. If the vertical prism axis is nearer to VP, this will move down by 4 mm. This will move to the right side by 4 mm. And then what happens? P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash, I mean. P1 dash, P4 dash. If it is moved in this direction, P1 dash, uh, P2 dash, P3 dash will become firm and the other will become dotted. Okay, when it moves down, P2 will move in this direction, P4 will move in this direction. P2 will become on the right side, P4 on the left side. Therefore, P1 dash, P2 dash, P3 dash will be firm and these all two pieces will remain dotted and these two pieces will become dotted, remain dotted. Whether it is moved in this direction or that direction, these small four pieces always will become invisible and hence they will be dotted. So it can be moved in that direction and this direction. It can be moved in this direction and then as I said, the dotted and the firm lines interchange. Except these four small pieces which remain dotted there also. The other two firm and dotted lines get interchanged. They be dotted become firm, firm become dotted. Agreed? Now, now, suppose, suppose the two axes intersect. The two axes intersect. What happens? Intersection curve will be simply two curves like this. Behind the firm line, there will be a dotted line, which will be invisible. That problem we have already drawn in one of the videos. In one of the videos, we have already drawn that. I hope you understand. Okay. Please subscribe my channel and share it among your friends and like it. Okay. Thank you.